I'm trying to get us going on this road trip as fast as possible. So I'm really excited re redoing this van, getting things together. Um, it's it's. Yeah, so we stopped in Nashville, um, got some incredible vegan food, like Southern style, and I bought a guitar. I don't even know. We got into some hijinks and whatnot. We met up with a friend, Amy, who I had met in Massachusetts, and she actually had grown up there, so she showed us kind of the ropes and took us around. and showed us what parades to go to and whatnot, and we just kind of had a good time. This was all during Endymion Parade, I guess, uh, one of the bigger ones. It was pretty cool, first experience with something like this, but damn, like, so much plastic. Really pretty, really pretty, but so much plastic. You'd see the streets just absolutely covered.
We got some incredible falafel and just kept walking around the city uh, doing whatever we were doing. I don't even... I don't even know. It was kind of a mess. It was fun. We saw a crime scene where some people had gotten hit and run, which was pretty dark. Tons of beautiful parades and art and just nonsense. Where this bunny came from, I have no idea. Like, the necklaces. Oh my god, the necklaces. It was pretty, but... Yeah. There was just so much trash. Everywhere, for miles. Just trash cups and plastic bags and necklaces. And people spend a lot of money on that stuff. And then we found ourselves at this warehouse party absolutely ridiculous and dark and seedy and weird and fun people were all dressed up and uh we went to some bars we had good times and then this happened when we got back to the car uh mardi gras has been pretty fun it's pretty crazy motherfuckers be stealing my laptop motherfuckers <laughs> be stealing my phone my dad's who yeah. else know like my speaker i, I don't know my chip who else even knows what got stolen? We're not really we don't even know what got stolen. We're drunk, and the car is ransacked, and yeah. we we're gonna sleep in here tonight, not in this parking spot, cause fuck this shit. Um, I pulled off the most ill parallel park I've ever pulled off. There's like three centimeters on either side of the car. <laughs> I probably bumped each car like a million times Maybe coming in. Though. Who knows? What's the lesson from this? I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'm gonna post uh, another video talking about what I learned from this experience all I know is that nothing's guaranteed and that you can't have any expectations I expected my car to not get broken into cops to be rolling down the street right now my friend called me today and said this is all part of the story and it really is now because you know when you live when you, when you live the high life you gotta live a little, little bit of a low life too so you know, this is what I get for living such a good life all the time. I can't, I can't complain. I really can't. So, I'm just thanking the universe for how good I get to live all the time. I'm really lucky. The fact that this bad shit doesn't usually happen to me. I never had anything stolen from me like this before. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw up, so I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna stop taking video so I can do that and you won't see it. <laughs> hey, I sent the flowers, what she said she could receive from that girl is a real crowd pleaser. Takes one world of our friends, no need. Young fool of the world and no teaser. But release the clouds, watch it fall slowly. Everybody, um, yeah, life is pretty weird right now. I am at a Waffle House parking lot in Mississippi. I don't think I've ever been to Mississippi before. And, uh, yeah, I don't plan to be here very long, so I'm drinking a coffee from Taco Bell, weird place to get a coffee. 
I haven't taken a sip yet. I feel like it's going to be way too hot. <clears throat> Weird place to get a coffee. Um, <coughs> Tara's asleep in the back. And it's about, what time is it? It's about 2 a.m. Um, just got some food, got full belly, full tank of gas, uh, full coffee, and we're on our way to south of Tallahassee, Florida. I think that's what it's called. Tallahassee? I'm not sure. So... <clears throat> we're going to a place called St. Mark's where my friend Willie lives and he owns a sailboat so we're going to go see if we can go sailing with Willie Captain Willie and <clears throat> yeah I believe the last video that you saw um, was probably me and Tara really drunk really angry about getting robbed, um, and yeah, that was a few days ago. It's it's uh, it's Tuesday night now, Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras just ended, and we just left New Orleans. We got robbed. A car got robbed. Let's see, S Sunday night, so, not yesterday, but the day before, so we, kind of yesterday we spent sort of <clears throat> reeling from that experience and trying to bounce back, you know, filed a police report, policewoman was really nice, I don't think anything is going to come of it, that's okay. We lost a lot of stuff, but I think it's going to be alright. Just using it as a tool to exercise non-attachment and just being present with where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out the lesson in all of it still, but I think one thing that it's definitely really going to help me with is finishing projects and just putting them out instead of holding on to things forever holding on I lost thousands and thousands of pictures on that hard drive that I had stored since I was like age 13 and they're all gone for sure I never posted any of them anywhere. You know, I always just in like all the phone pictures, all the DSLR pictures, like everything. And I never did anything with it. And so many like photoshopped items, so many just different downloads, so much music, so much, so many ideas and <clears throat> so many unfinished production music projects, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And it just makes me wish that I, you know, grinded a little bit more and finished those things and put them out so that they were in the world and I didn't need to have those raw files. The other lesson, more practical, a little more tangible, is just back up your shit on the hard drive. And don't take that with you. Duh. It's crazy. I can't believe I didn't have that double backed up. Lost everything. But, you know, I'm excited to not have a laptop for a little while. And to approach life with a clean slate. And when I do that again, you know, it's got, I'm going to get it and just download the bare minimum, you know, just get Ableton, 
download some samples and just roll with that I'm not going to do much because I'm just going to work with what I have but we recovered last night last night was really fun we went out and met this dude that we met on the street playing melodica the night before. He was playing Piano Man for Tara. She was hooping. Somehow I got his number. Um, I don't remember it at all, but we ended up texting him. He invited us out for drinks at this gay bar with him and his girl. So we went last night and this woman in the Waffle House keeps staring at me. She's definitely the only one working. She's in the corner at a booth eating some food and she's like is this guy gonna come in or what and the answer is no I just parked here so I could get good light from the store so you could see my face so I could record this video um, but that's beside the point so we went out last night got drinks had a blast you know with Derek and Bridget and uh, it was really cool feeling like we had some friends there, especially after that shit that went down. And, you know, there's some other stuff happened that I'm not going to discuss here. Um, all good things. We had a lot of fun. Um, first time on Bourbon Street, just absolutely a great time. So this woman thinks I'm crazy. I'm just sitting in this car talking to myself. And... <clears throat> So anyway, um, I'm here. I'm probably going to get driving in a second. I might try to record a video while I drive later. I don't know if the audio will come out. It'll be more of an experiment. But yeah, I'm sitting here. I've been mulling over song lyrics for a song I'm working on that I started, this, I think, yesterday. Um, that I just wrote some lyrics down on my phone and forgot the tune, and now I'm rebuilding it and playing this guitar that I got. I got a guitar in... Nashville the other day. It's a baby seagull. It's really pretty. It sounds really good. I was really, I thought I had made a stupid purchase, but I, I, I'm really happy about it. it. Sounds amazing. I can sit in the driver's seat and play it, and that's a game changer. So I'm working on that. Playing music. Gonna write this song. And I'm going to keep driving and keep writing the song a little bit. So thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to upload these now. And yeah, like I said, I'm sorry you missed videos two through whatever. There was some cool stuff on there too. I guess I'll just have to record some more. I don't know. I mean, that was all learning anyway. Wish me luck on the drive, subscribe to the channel, follow my adventures.